Ready? Mm -hmm. Hayden, it's on you. Okay. Rolling. Open hand. What is up my skinny legends? Welcome to Kenny KO where you are guaranteed to be triggered. Short time ago I made a video touching on the notorious Logan Paul set to take place in the Russian slap championship. And in that video, I predicted a couple outcomes or situations that might take place. Number one would be the slap championship would be rigged in Logan Paul's favor. And he'd get viral video fake knocking out the Russian champion. <laughs> Situation number two would be he would back out out of fear, <laughs> which is definitely gonna be the emphasis of this video. And a little disclaimer, Logan Paul backed out out of fear. Or the third variable was also gonna be another situation of him backing out, but having some other type of event come up where he would make it to where he can't attend the Russian slap championship. So in that first video, those were all going through my head, trying to piece together which one Logan Paul would take the approach of. And I thought deep down in my gut, it wasn't the fact he would back out. I more so actually thought that Logan Paul was more gonna have the fight rigged and in favor of him and his career. It all dates back to Logan Paul's first post on Instagram and Twitter, where he states on Twitter, after an unfortunate incident at practice today, I've decided not to compete in the Russian slap competition. He then goes on to show his letter to Generation Iron, who this collaboration was taking place with. And he states in that letter to Generation Iron, due to an unforeseen and unfortunate event that took place during practice today, I decided not to participate in the upcoming slap competition. Based on today's incident and the aftermath, it became clear that I don't have the desire to participate in an event that can result in serious injury to virtually anyone competing. I have the deepest respect for the sport and athletes involved. However, However, I feel my decision will preserve the health and wellness of everyone competing. I appreciate you taking the time to include me in the process and will continue to support the sport. <laughs> Damn, that is a tongue twister. Support the sport. I dare you guys to say that five times without messing up. Support the sport and your organization as a fan. Thank you for your understanding and mutual respect. Sincerely, Logan Paul. This was released the day I had just published my first video. and. It came as a little bit of a shock, but also not, because it was one of the outcomes I had predicted. I didn't think that would be the route Logan would actually take. Then the next day, he actually posts the clip of the incident he is talking about, the unfortunate incident that uh, took place at practice, where apparently this is his coach, where he is practicing the slap, instead of doing it on the you know pool floaty that we saw in the original video. And he knocks this guy out cold, but what I find a little bit suspicious though, is just a lot of factors and knowing Logan Paul and knowing him being a video and content creator, there are a lot of parts of this that can without a doubt be staged and rigged. If we jump back to that initial letter that he sent out to Generation Iron, notifying them that he would not be competing, he states, it becomes clear that I don't have the desire to participate in an event that can result in serious injury to virtually anyone competing. He's more so saying he could cause serious injury to the other athletes. But if you watch my initial video, and even on this video as you're currently seeing on screen, this is the Russian slap champion. This man has the hardest slap I have ever seen all time. I'm just gonna put this plain simple straight to the point. I think Logan Paul staged this video with this trainer, whoever this man is, that he fake knocks out with a slap in order to get out of his competition with Generation Iron in Russia for the slap champion. Because if you look at it a couple different ways, if he just backs out just to back out, people are gonna call him a say that he's not man enough to face up against the Russian, which by the way, fun fact, the Russian actually did go out on social media and call Logan Paul which absolutely made my day. There's no way he's gonna get the support of everyone who is involved in this if he just randomly drops out. The only circumstance I can see is the one he came up with where he knocks someone out and then says it can result in serious injury to virtually anyone. Now he's not wrong. I stated in my initial video that anyone that takes place in this Russian slap championship is pretty much guaranteed just signing away their waiver for brain damage. I mean, just think about it. You're standing across a table just slapping each other until you can't function or you're unconscious. And my past with boxing, watching MMA for so many years, you know a knockout when you see one. And to me, that initial shock just does not seem like a legitimate knockout. It seems very staged, especially as I touched on, you all have to realize Logan Paul is one of the biggest YouTubers, one of the biggest entertainers. If you look at the biggest prank channels, for example, most of those are gonna be staged and fake. And I see this as Logan Paul's only chance to get out of the slap championship in Russia was putting up this video and saying that it can result in serious injury to anyone. But to put it plain and simple, he's just a 
I think Logan is a great entertainer and this would have been some great viral content. I don't know why he didn't do it. This would be probably some of the best content he's ever put out. But then again, I also have to remember like he backed out for a reason because he didn't want to actually be knocked out. But I want to know your guys' thoughts on this whole situation. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you disagree with me. If you have a thought of why Logan Paul would have backed out of this competition other than what he stated, let me know in the comments down below. If you are new to the Kenny KO channel, I hope you subscribe. And also, very exciting news, I will be at the Anaheim Fit Expo coming up this weekend. If you guys are going to be there, attending make sure to come say what's up we are going to be getting so confrontational and it's something you aren't going to want to miss so make sure you turn those post notifications on i will catch you guys all in the next one peace